This is the Clay Pigeon Combo Guide Part 2. This guide will focus on clay pigeon properties not mentioned in the previous video, and also how to post tumble clay pigeon chain characters that don't fall into the grounded chain category. An important rule when comboing with clay pigeon is to center the clay pigeon. This makes it so that you get 4 or 5 shots to connect to make the truest of combos. If the explosion of clay pigeon is not centered on the opponent, you will get a lot less hit stun in order to combo your opponent with. It is harder to center the clay pigeon on thinner opponents, making clay pigeon combos easier on wider opponents. Because of how little time you have to throw a clay pigeon during a combo chain, there are very few positions you can get immediately in order to get your clay pigeon combo chains. The previous example was a short hop side B that ended up in front of Lucina, and this one includes a little bit of a dash to end up behind Lucina. These tiny variations in clay pigeon chains are important to be able to differentiate between in order to center the clay pigeon on an opponent. In some cases, you may need to short hop straight up in order to continue a clay pigeon chain. The input most of the time for this will be a short hop and then inputting a side B. However, if you can find a way to do this frame perfectly, it will lead to the tightest possible combos. You can also add tiny amounts of drift to line up the clay pigeon combos. However, it is difficult to do these tiny amounts of drifts while not dropping frames in order to complete your combos. Another option we have to change up the Y position of the clay pigeon is to wave bounce the clay pigeon during the hop. This wave bounce is slower, however, it does provide a unique height that other options don't provide. The most amount of unique positions you can get with clay pigeon combos happens with your full hop heights. It all depends on when you release the clay pigeon during the full hop that can determine where you are centering it for your combo. Keep in mind that hard toss clay pigeons and soft toss clay pigeons will also affect how your clay pigeon will center on your opponent. There is actually a buffer for perfect full hop clay pigeons. By holding jump and forward during the buffer, all that Duck Hunt needs to do is press B during the buffer to release clay pigeon as soon as possible during a full hop. This will result in a full hop clay pigeon that will be centered in a lower Y position than by simply sliding the inputs in order to perform this. I am buffering the perfect full hop clay pigeon during the up tilt here, however during normal gameplay you will actually be buffering this during the end lag of a clay pigeon during a chain combo. Also keep in mind you can wave bounce with full hops if you also need that for a specific position. You can also do double jump clay pigeons for max extended combos. Let's look at how these different heights interact with platforms. Here we can see a short hop clay pigeon that will hit Lucina's feet, however we don't land on the platform. By going for a full hop clay pigeon, we will land on the platform, however it will not be centered on Lucina, so we can't really combo off of it. However, if we go for a buffered full hop clay pigeon, we can see that we will land on the platform, and it will also be centered on Lucina. Another option to go for is for a full hop wave bounce clay pigeon that will land on the platform and will center on Lucina. This option will be good for tech chasing on platforms. We can also use platforms and double jump clay pigeons to extend our combos. This is a different route to take than the drag down combos with up air. Finally, we need to see how DI is going to work against post-tumble clay pigeon combos.
Here, the computer is holding hard to right, and we can see that we can land three clay pigeons in a row together. The first two connect in pre-tumble, which means it could not be DI'd, however the third one is hit in post-tumble, which means that it is only being hit because the opponent is holding far right. If the duck hunt is aware that the opponent is only holding right against clay pigeon, then it is possible to kill confirm them for it. Now let's try and land the same combo, however this time, the opponent is holding up. We can see that the first two clay pigeons will connect perfectly because it is being done in pre-tumble, however, the third clay pigeon is now impossible because the opponent is too far away. It is more obvious to figure out what's going on when we push Lucina up to 80% and now we have to connect two clay pigeons in post-tumble to start the combo. Despite the many number of clay pigeon placements that Duck Hunt has in order to follow DI, he actually doesn't have the time to react to any of it. Therefore, post clay pigeon tumble chains will rely on the opponent picking up DI, away DI, or no DI. Up and away DI is usually not best as it will sometimes fall into a position where both short hop clay pigeon and full hop clay pigeons will both connect on it. Figuring out which DI route to take on a character is unique to them, and because there are so many potential routes, it is impossible to do a video on all of them. This video is meant to give the parameters and a guide for players to figure out their own clay pigeon combo routes on characters they wish to learn it on. When accounting for DI and positioning, clay pigeon will usually stop comboing into itself at 100 or slightly more percent. If the opponent is DI'ing up to avoid a route, consider full hop clay pigeons and double jump clay pigeons with platform extensions can lead to early up air kills. If an opponent is DI'ing away to avoid a route, consider that you have more horizontal and more drift clay pigeons to extend the combo, potentially land up air or back airs for kills.